No. Don't don't start me from scratch. Fuck. It's okay, it's just loading. It didn't start me from scratch. <laughs> yes, it didn't start me from scratch! <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Gods Will Be Watching with Dastardly Danny here. We're in chapter two where my uh, good friend Jack and I are being tortured by Irvin. You fucking kidding me? I did all this already. Oh, whatever. My name is Irvin McAllister. See? It's not that complicated. So. I might have to confess. I don't think I could take much. Fuck. I'm Abraham Burden. My partner is Jack Maslow. We're ex-soldiers from the Constellar Federation. Interesting. So, you say you wanted to blackmail those pigs from the Constellar Federation. You live on board a spaceship, always on the run. That's how you cover its role, I guess. You fools were trying to understand the deadly Medusa virus. You're Abraham Burden and Jack Maslow, old dogs from the Constellar Federation. But there's still things that bug me. Alexander, my bag is killing me. Let's call it a day. See? I don't like it either, having to hurt you. But hell, if you want to play the hero, it's my duty to beat the ever-living shit out of you. I hope you understand. You want to sit? We could switch places whenever you want. No, 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 please. What an awful host that would make me. Rest yourselves, darlings. Well, that was day two. I wonder if they can really make me go through 20 days. Where do you think Liam comes from? Why do you think he began this revolution? He told me he was a huge high-tech planet. He was a speck of dust in a very dirty planet. And he came to see... He came to be some kind of rebel punk who led a big group of youngsters against the big corporations. That has nothing to do with the Sinnelfiler's current cause, but I guess he always had an appetite for revolution. He told you all that? Wow, seems like you two got pretty close. I'm a good listener. Why is Liam wearing a bra? Good news! I received an encrypted message from our guys, and they say they'll be here sooner than we thought. Yes! Yes, good work, guys. Yeah, they'll be here in 19 days. What the shit? A day is a day, isn't it? Thanks, Liam. Why should I bring you tomorrow? Bring this information, please. Gotcha. Here. Painkillers will help you endure more pain. Done. I'll see you tomorrow. I should've gotten the health kit first. And that means we don't have to talk shit tomorrow. Here's tomorrow! You know something? I envy you from free guys like you. Not having to wear the same clothes every day. And coffee. For the Emperor's sake, how I fucking miss coffee. It was prohibited seven years ago because our beloved Emperor thought coffee encourages rebel thinking. Sometimes I wish that the Emperor was down here with us, just so I could show him the many ways I disagree with him. Alexander, forget what you just heard. But the thing is, rebel activity actually diminished, so did our red departments. I don't know why you were interested in the research of some coffee-less scientists. Bad scientists. Well, I should confess something to you then, Irvin. We ran there for the coffee. No shit. Who do you work for? Hmm. You're close to killing me. Okay, we have plenty of time to breathe. Damn. I have to take a shit. Alexander, I told you we wouldn't we shouldn't have attended the jalapeno party. See you tomorrow, amigos. You know what they say. Eat fire, shit tears. Wow, I played that really smart. 
I didn't have to confess shit. Because I still have 20 days to go. I think Alexander has muscles in places that shouldn't exist on a human being. I'm starting to like my chair. I wonder what Brute's face looks like. Maybe he's a cutie under the hood. Ugh, that would be even scarier. How are you holding up? Well, we're alive, but we need a vacation after this. Sure, we could take a free free day. That's generous. Send out followers mode or freedom for all intel intelligent beings. Fuck my employees. You should have read that fine print. What should I bring you tomorrow? Bring me a healing kit. Gotcha. I got you some useful intel. They seem to be pretty paranoid about rebels and resistance initiatives. Mm. I guess that will come in handy in a lie. No! I guess we're gonna lie. We're just people oppressed by the holistic empire. We're the resistance and will overthrow your empire. Okay, there we go. Uh. Damn it, that is the last question. Um. Anything else? Anything else I can use that's. Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on, it's not funny if you don't care. I don't know what you were expecting. He died on a mission. We are professionals. I won't waste his sacrifice with crappy lament. So get your shit together and ask me the next question. I'm not in the mood right now. You think you're a smartass, but I'll make you feel sorry. I'll make you cry, soldier. You'll need more than a ridiculous set of jokes then. Jack? What if we just die? I'm tired of fighting. I'm sorry, Jack, but I need you alive. I'll kill you when we escape if you want. But I don't have a chance if I have to resist this madman's wrath alone. Okay, but this is the last favor I do for you. How is Jack alive? I saw- What? Jack? <gasps> He's haunted. He's gone. Fuck! Damn it, I'm so sorry, Abraham. Don't be sorry. He died for a cause. There's no better death than that. That's bullshit. There's no good death. And his blood is on me now. I should have listened to you and aborted the space lab hijack. Hey. Where did you expect when we started a revolution? Great change always comes with blood. Enough. I didn't come here for a pep talk. Let's focus on getting you out of here alive. What should I bring you tomorrow? Things are getting worse. Get me information. Gotcha. Medicine will mend your flesh and make you feel a whole lot better. Resist. Fuck. Am I really gonna have to go through this in 19 days? Mm. 
Man, I had the weirdest dream last night. Get this. Everything was black and white. Everything. But the orange light of my cigarette. Oh. Why did that skip? Do you like games? I'm really into gambling games myself. Are you familiar with the old gunpowder weapons? Well, this is a seven-barreled lucky revolver. It's been in my family for centuries. Old fellows from Earth had a game called Russian Roulette. I don't know what Russian means. Must be the guy who invented it. Doesn't matter. What does matter is what happens when I slide one bullet inside the barrel, point this baby at your face, and ask a question. If I like what you're saying, I won't pull the trigger. Either way, you'll be in the hands of Lady Luck. Are you ready? For one out of seven chances of boom, how did you sneak into the labs? Shit. Fuck, I killed him. The boss more like this. <laughs> Fuck! I thought, well, at least I, I could- I get to try to have Jack again. I wish I had multiple lives to find out what the pattern is. Whoa! Whoa, is that an indirect towards me? There, Burden! I'm trying my fucking best! This is the farthest I've ever gotten! Better not see the fucking wall ever again. Did you have a good night? You know those wooden chairs are shit. Sorry. Not so long ago, we- Why does this keep skipping? Do you like games? Oh. I forgot about the Russian roulette. Just... Bloop. I really into games myself. Are you familiar with the old gunpowder weapons? Well, there's a seven barrel locky revolver. It's been in my family for centuries. Da 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 If I confess everything, I'm basically useless. Fuck it, Lady Luck! <laughs> Please, do I have enough to lie? Oh my god, no! <laughs> I don't know what to do, guys. One out of four chances? My god. I don't want to do this all over again. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, all right, now I gotta lie. Oh my god, oh my god, oh no. Oh, oh my god. Oh lord, I made it. I fucking made it. I don't even need painkillers! Please, 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 please. I hope that Marvin is doing okay. I miss the dog too. Okay, shit. Okay, so this is how uh, this is how we're gonna do it. It started with punches. It went from punches to what? Knees. It went from knees to teeth. It went from teeth to hot pipe. It went from hot pipe to wall stretching. And it went from wall stretching to uh, fucking Russian roulette. It doesn't seem like there's much of a pattern here. It looks like it's just getting deadlier and deadlier there, Liam. Can we do something about that? All 
how are you holding up? I don't know. I'm being tortured for now about an hour, but nobody's gonna know because I'm gonna edit all of it. It's gonna be like 20 minutes of torturing, but no, I've been suffering all day. Thank you for asking. Well, we're alive, but we need a vacation after this. Well, sure, you can take a free day. That's generous. <sighs> Where should I bring you tomorrow? Bring me information. Tell me they rescue me tomorrow. I literally went through one, two, three, four, five, six, six days of torture. Is it seven days? If I'm really gonna play 20 days of torture, this is actually torture. What are you doing? Good morning. Fuck you. Ready for your next session? I'm ready for you to fucking die. You know, this is a tough job, torturing people. I mean, oh! I'm sorry guys, but this is when we get serious. If you don't tell me what I want, I'm going to cut your friend's arm off. It's as simple as that. So what is your leader's name? It's just a name. It won't hurt anybody but you. Our leaders... Brian Kernsmith, also known as the Empire Destroyer. It makes sense, doesn't it? I don't know. Fucking next question. What were you looking at her lab? Fuck. We stole research about the Medusa virus. Interesting. So, you said you wanted to blackmail those pigs from the Constellar Federation. You live on board a spaceship, always on the run, that's how you cowards roll. You're members of the Xenophile terrorists who hide behind our revolutionary ideas. You're Abraham Burden and Jack Maslow, old dogs of the Constellar Federation. You fools were trying to understand the Daily Medusa virus, but there are still things that bug me. Thank fucking God. How did you manage to enter our space lab? I told you already. I told you already. <laughs> we bought some cargo access codes on the black market. I'm sorry, but there are a lot of people willing to sell you out. Nice! See, that wasn't so hard. I'm starting to feel a little intimate with you now. Fuck it. Is that like I have a choice? Two hours later. No more. No! God, I'm about to confess a third time. <laughs> so, oh my God, why did I get a health kit? Why? I should have gotten information, not a health kit. I got all messed up. This should be. Information, this should be health kit. After the wall stretching is information and then health kit. I fucked up.
I'm sorry, Jack. I made it. I made it through the axe with only three confessions. Bring me information or painkillers. Now nah, bring me information. Oh my god! Guys, it took me an hour and a half to finally beat this chapter, but I did it. <laughs> I fucking- WITH MY NOTES! <laughs> Thanks again for watching. If you like this, please hit a like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you don't like it or if you do like it. And until then, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye bye What the fuck?! Hey, welcome back to another episode of Death of the Dead here. You know, I'm fucking dying. Uh oh. I'm going up against Flowey.